We don't know who's right because we haven't yet attempted to drink them. I have a sneaking suspicion they're not going to fit through the straw. It's some of them might. <laughs> Hi everyone, today is going to be the first of a new series where we, while we're in the UK, attempt to make Taiwanese dishes and drinks. And what better way to start than with Taiwan's most famous export, bubble tea. Neither of us had any idea how to make bubble tea. Yeah, we don't really know what the ingredients are other than that there is, of course, the bubbles, the pearls themselves. Some sort of tea. Some sort of tea and some sort of milk. Other than that, we were kind of lost. So we headed to where all good people head when they need to learn to do something, and that's YouTube. <laughs> One of the first things that we noticed when we were doing our research was sugar. The amount of sugar that is used. I mean, I knew bubble tea was sweet, but I did not imagine there would be quite that much sugar in it. It was just sugar, sugar, and then a bit more sugar. Yeah. We saw different methods for getting the tapioca balls to be the right colour. And we saw lots of different methods for rolling and dividing up the tapioca balls themselves and then different ways of making them into the right shape as well. And another thing we noticed was that lots of people like to use syrup to cook the tapioca balls in. Again, more sugar. Lots and lots and lots of sugar. But the cool thing about that is when they'd finished making it, they pushed the syrup up the side of the cup and it made it look really pretty when you poured the milk in. I just want to get a spoon. I don't even need the tea, just the spoon will do. Yeah. That and some whipped cream. He does actually put whipped cream on it. See, there you are, I see. After all that, I would say extensive research, Absolutely. we decided that making bubble tea may be slightly beyond our skill level. Really hard. Yeah, it does look pretty difficult. So you had a genius idea. I did, yes. I've heard of this thing called the internet. Wow. Where you can search for things like how to make bubble tea at home using a kit. So the kit itself, the idea was that it would contain everything that you would need and you essentially just need to construct um, the, the drink itself. Just follow the instructions Perfect. and then 100% guaranteed success. That's literally what it says on the box, 100% yes. guaranteed. On a side note, we are obviously not endorsed by this company and we would like to apologise now for what happened. If we had followed the instructions as we were supposed to, we probably would have succeeded. But we followed a kind of combination of stuff that we thought looked good on YouTube and the instructions. And it turns out when you combine those, it doesn't necessarily turn out as well as you might have hoped. We read the instructions and then realized that you had to make the tapioca balls yourself. I had assumed that they would come ready and all you would have to do is heat them. Yeah, my guess was that we would just boil up some water, put in some like tea mix, whisk it together and then pour in some balls and be like, look, we made bubble tea. I thought it would be a bit like dried pasta mm. in that you you would just add it to boiling water yeah. and then it would Job be done. done. Yeah. And we started well, we boiled a kettle, which is what it said to do. We made the tea as it said to do, but... With nowhere near enough water, but that was an active choice and we brewed it for longer so that we would have a stronger brew so that later on we could add more water to it. And dilute it to taste. Exactly. Uh, but the next bit was all about uh, making the, bubbles. The, the tapioca bubbles, which we did a great job with. The recipe said that we should add food colouring. We ignored that completely and added cocoa powder instead. So you needed to add boiling water in order to form it into a dough and it was hot and then the kneading process began. The texture of this is really soft. Yeah, and it looks a lot like it did in like the YouTube videos and things we were watching. I think our consistency was pretty pretty close. So then we rolled out the, the dough, which worked really well, um, and then separating those up into the sections that we were gonna roll out. But this was where we had quite a lot of disagreement. Yeah, they were too big. So we split them in half again, and I thought they were still too big. And I disagreed uh, with that. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say that some of them were bang on. Some of them were the right size, but if you look, you can see that they're clearly not all the same size. No, I didn't I didn't do it equally. And some of them are definitely too big. But after they were rolled, we had to uh, put them in the pan and boil them up. I mean, some of those are 
the, the one at the front there is huge. It is slightly larger than it should be. And I think at this point I'd realised how different they were. In, I mean, just look at some of those. Um, and I think I point out here, maybe that one's not going to fit up a straw. <laughs> maybe not. There's no straw in the world accommodating <laughs> that. So just, just to clarify, who was right about the size of the bubbles? Well, at the, the minute, at the minute we don't know, do we? We don't know who's right because we haven't yet attempted to drink them. I have a sneaking suspicion they're not going to fit through the straw. I think some of them might. <laughs> So then once they were cooked, they needed to be put into a bowl of cold water. So we brewed the tea for longer than it said to do, but we completely forgot to add more water to it. We did, however, add the sugar. The only bit of sugar yeah. in the whole thing. We were supposed to add about twice as much sugar as that. And we were also, it said, if you want to, you can cook the bubbles in sugar syrup, which yeah. we'd seen in the videos, which we also chose not to do. Yeah, we thought it would be A, too difficult and B, too sweet. Yeah. Shall we, shall we show off the, the fruits of our labours? Ab absolutely, let's do it. Um, Ta-da! In terms of appearance... I'd say not too bad. It's not, there's not a great deal of it. No. Um, but the, 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 I think the tapioca balls look good. The tapioca balls do look good. The cocoa if... powder was an inspired idea and it wasn't um, included in the, in, in the recipe. Should we get our straws so we can give it a stir around and in show people our tapioca of, in, balls? In terms of appearance... Um, I mean, out of five, I'd give that a solid four. Yeah. That looks very similar to... But the real question is, how is it in terms of taste? Well, let's have a look. I'm not sure that... I... Let's just do a swirl, show people those tapioca balls in there. <laughs> I don't think I want to. Right. Uh, mine has ice in, uh, you didn't want Mine doesn't have ice. I don't have ice when I have it in Taiwan either, so... You ready? Hmm? They go through the straw! Yeah! See, I told you, I told you. Mm -hmm. It tastes like bubble tea. It tastes like a less sweet bubble tea. We definitely didn't add sugar at as many stages as, as normal. Mm. I've got one stuck. Are you not impressed? It's the chew that won't end. They are quite chewy. It's all right. I think you're being generous. I think it a... shouldn't be chocolatey, and it's chocolatey. Yeah, the cocoa powder may make it look good, but the taste is not quite right. And also, I think it made them slightly too dry. I'm not sure. Maybe the chocolate isn't so, but it's growing on me. No, it's disgusting. The chocolate flavor is growing it is on disgusting. me. It's because don't don't eat or drink that. I say try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nobody should try this. Nobody recommended that we do this. It was not on any of the instructions. We, we, well, you saw what we did, so we, we ignored the instructions slightly. Many different recipes together to make it work. And I would say, if you were just taking a picture, hmm? I can't believe you're still drinking that. <laughs> <laughs> So, in answer to the question, do the tapioca balls fit up the straw? Kind of. For the most part, yes. Kind of. Some of them, no. Some of them get stuck and then the whole thing just fires into your mouth, <laughs> which is... The whole one I had was fine. Yeah. I didn't have any issues with that. I just found it, the whole experience, deeply unpleasant. So what's the next step? Maybe actually follow the recipe. Yeah, I think if we do this again, next time we'll follow the recipe. If you have any suggestions of things that we should do, try... I want to do dumplings. Maybe dumplings? Mm -hmm. If you think of anything, if you have a decent recipe that we'll be able to get the ingredients for in the UK, let us know in the comments. Overall, I would say that An was a success. overwhelming failure. Or success, depending on how you look at it. If you can't... A drink was made that looks a little bit like bubble tea. <laughs> but it tastes horrible. But they can't taste it. We could tell everybody that it tastes delicious. We you wouldn't... just couldn't pretend. Let us know what you want us to try and cook and fail at next time. <laughs> and uh, if you enjoyed no, this video... No, we look completely incompetent. We are not this bad. We, we, can... we are completely incompetent. Com completely. Um, so, whatever you want us to fail at next, let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Are you sure you don't want any more? I can't tell you how little I want to drink that. It is... That is not, that is not how it tastes in, in Taiwan. That is not how it tastes. <clears throat>
Don't, don't drink any more of that. It'll rot your inside. Lord only knows what that's doing to you. Don't. Should we do some ASMR? Oh, no, <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> <laughs>